Hi everyone, welcome back and thank you for coming back and joining me in our quest to reveal the truth and protect those who cannot speak up for themselves. As Denmark enters the new phase in their history, or entered the new phase yesterday, one wonders what is going on and what is being said behind closed doors in places like Buckingham Palace, Clarence House, Adelaide Cottage, and even in places and official residences in other countries. Queen Margarete is the first Danish monarch to willingly abdicate in something like 900 years and although it is admirable of someone like Queen Elizabeth II to work right up to her dying day and of course we loved and respected her for it. I do feel that Queen Margrethe made the right decision and I personally congratulate and respect her for that. It is not known what the 83-year-old Queen's health is like, but we do know that she had a fairly serious back operation last year. Like Queen Elizabeth II, it does however appear that Queen Margarete has all her mental faculties about her. But, my dear friends, I have a mother of 84 and I'm turning 61. I nearly said only 61 <laughs> and as we all know even in our early 60s aging is not for the faint of heart no matter how well you have taken care of yourself there will be the odd ailment or two a pain here an ache there even an old injury which may start to play up again and your organs start to show the strain of working hard and faithfully for so many years. As children and teenagers, we are constantly being prepared for adulthood, but no one prepares us for old age, and maybe it's just as well. We know Queen Margareta was an avid sportswoman and a smoker, so, in other words, a normal human being, just like you and me, with our ups and downs, our wins and our fails. <laughs> and I think that, in particular, is what made her so popular. The thing is that, without fail, we all walk that road. And that will eventually include the Queen's son and his wife, I think that should we have been able to ask Queen Margrethe, she would have told us that there are still books that she wants to read, walks she would like to take, maybe, like me, she has a box or two of crafts she would like to finish. I heard that Queen Margrethe is rather artistic and she paints and designs costumes and does dainty and opulent collages, etc, etc. And under the pseudonym of Ingerhild Grafma, she also illustrated books and designed a postage stamp or two. Clearly, a woman with many talents and interests. A woman whom, I guess, often had to put her own interests and hobbies aside to accommodate her day job as queen of her nation. I think in the biggest scheme of things, on the scales of justice and fairness, she needs and deserves the time to just be and to just be herself. I'm also thinking about the advice often given to professional athletes, namely to retire on a high retire at the right time and you'll remain a hero but if you wait too long and you start losing time and time again then that is what everyone will remember you for in my mind's eye i can still see the queen's bruised hand and it still makes me sad i think queen margrethe made the correct decision let her son the 55 year old frederick take the reins while him and his wife are still fit and the darlings of the nation. I'm sure the Queen is a little sad 
and nostalgic because time has passed so quickly. But I'm also sure that she is proud of the son she raised to take over from her. Proud of his lovely wife and children who walked out alongside him onto that balcony yesterday. The Queen's decision shows that she has her country's best interest at heart and that she does not have a single selfish or arrogant bone in her body. And I say, long live Queen Margrethe. So, that makes me wonder, what will the British do? What will King Charles decide? Will he emulate his mother and cling to the reins to his dying day? Or will he pass it on to his son sooner rather than later? If we look at Denmark's royal family, Queen Margrethe is eight years older than King Charles III, and her grandson, her son, Frederick's son, and now the Crown Prince of Denmark, recently turned 18, also eight years older than Prince George, and thus old enough to step in for his father if something should happen, and he really has to. I'm sure it is not what he wants, because he is still young, and I'm sure he would like some time to remain young. But the crown of Denmark is now safe for at least two generations. I mean, God willing. So will King Charles III also try to hang in there for eight more years until George turns 18. Maybe that is the plan. But as we know, plans do not always work the way we want them to. Despite Queen Margrethe being a smoker and despite her back operation at 82, superficially she looks healthier and more sprightly than King Charles III. The Queen also do not seem to have as many skeletons in her closet as her British counterpart, and except for a fairly minor and short-lived upset by her second son's ex-wife and children, there does not seem to be too much family drama either. It may sound a little fanciful, but all of this, all these family dramas, etc., counts for something, as stress is likely the second largest killer in the world. The list of ailments associated with stress is indeed a long one. In my very humble opinion, King Charles will not be king for the next eight years. In my opinion, his reign will be significantly shorter, and I have a feeling that his reign will not be longer than five years, and that will include the year which has already passed. But remember, that is just my opinion and not based on fact. So like you all, I will just have to wait and see. <laughs> okay guys, so that is it from me. For today, <laughs> we are still going through a very hectic time trying to get old Dragon Man back into mainstream schooling. I have basically just come back from Oatsrun and have to go again tomorrow. And then he is only catching the bus as from next week. So it will be in and out to Oatsrun all day, every day for the next week. But I'm going to find myself a spot where I can sit and narrate videos so that I can still keep in touch with you. So, guys and girls, that being said, please take good care of yourselves until we meet again on the next one. Bye!